Today we're going to show you how to migrate or restore a site using the Backup Buddy plugin for WordPress. Before we do that, you need two files, a zip folder of your entire website and the importbuddy.php file, both produced using your Backup Buddy program. Please see our previous tutorial on how to create a backup using Backup Buddy. You also need to be able to place those files into the root directory of your website. You can do this by using an FTP program like FileZilla for Windows or Fetch for Mac users. Here you can see the two files have been uploaded to the root directory of the website using Fetch. Now that you're all set up, using your web browser, navigate to the domain name where importbuddy.php is and type in that URL. Now type in your password, the one you designated for importbuddy.php when you exported the file. Then click Authenticate. This brings you to step one. Click Restore Backup. This unzips the zip folder restoring the files for step two. This brings us to step three, the database settings. At this point, I usually will go into my cPanel at my hosting company. I like to use Bluehost and use the database wizard that's in there to set up a new database. I could use the old database if I wanted to. I would still need to change the database prefix to something that ends in an underscore, but in this case, I would rather create a new database. So I'm going to log in to my Bluehost account for this domain, Chicks Shoes, and create a new database. Once you're in the cPanel, go down to Databases under Database Tools. Use the MySQL wizard. It's important to record this information because you may need to use it again in the future. So for the new database, the prefix is already given to you. I'm going to add some additional digits after that, 437. It won't allow you to add extra characters like an exclamation point, so just use 437. Then go to the next step. For the username, I'm going to use exactly the same thing, 437. Then create a unique password and uh, make sure you write that down on a notepad or somewhere so you can remember it. We will use it later. Enter the password in both places to make sure they match. Okay, I've typed them both incorrectly. Now I'm going to create a user by clicking the Create User button. In this next step three, I'm going to click All Privileges and then click Next Step. So now I've created a database using the MySQL database wizard. Now that I've completed that process, I can come back to Import Buddy and fill in the blanks with that information. So click the arrow to keep localhost the same. Put in the new database name and the database user from the information I recorded earlier when I created the database. and add the password that we created earlier. And add a, a database prefix and 
that should always end in an underscore. When I press next step, it's going to dump all that information from the old database into this new database. So click next step. Now it's going to ask me if I want to change everything referencing the site from .co, where I built the site under, to .com, which I do. So I'm going to say yes and click next step. It's given me a warning notice that there's an ad handler director found in the HT access file. You can read more about that online. I've researched it before and I'm not concerned about it at this time. For the final step of cleaning up the, the extra files, you want to verify that your website is working properly. So navigate to .com version of your site. You can click around, make sure everything's functioning properly, and it is. So now I can complete the final step, which just deletes all the unneeded files that were used for the migration process. So then click Finish Cleanup. Now that it says finished, we have completed the process of migrating the site using the Backup Buddy tool. We created a new database as part of that process and we're all good to go. So congratulations, you have successfully migrated your website to a new location.